Let's look at some of the ways we sink the ship. Make decision in his haste. Verse 9 says, Much time had passed, and they had felt they had to do something. Have you heard some say, Let's do something even if it's wrong? If you're in the middle of a decision, wait on God. If you feel something pushing you, I can assure you that it's not the Holy Spirit. He leads and guides you, but He doesn't shove. Depend upon worldly wisdom rather than godly wisdom. The captain and owner of the ship believed each other instead of Paul. Verse 11, don't go to the people of this world and ask them what to do. Seek a godly counsel, one that bases her counsel on the word of God. Some take the easy way out because a harbor wasn't up to their standards. They decided to depart hastily. Acts 27 and 12. When they make their decision, it was based on what would be easy. Almost always you'll find trouble this way. Sometimes we're called upon to endure hardness as good soldiers of Jesus Christ. They follow the crowd. There was a crowd on that boat. When they took a vote, Paul was outvoted. Verse 12, they said, let's sail. But if you think about it, often the majority is wrong. Don't get the idea that if everybody says it, then it's right. You may go from person to person trying to get permission to do what you already decided to do. But frequently the majority is simply a lot of people pulling their ignorance. Depend upon circumstances. In Acts 27 and 13 they said, The sun is shining, the sea is calm, and the wind is blowing in our direction. It must be the right thing. There are a lot of people who are led by circumstances to say, Lord, it must be your will, it looks good. But that soothing south wind may turn into a horrible, vicious storm.